Ready na ba? Okay. Oh guys, oh guys, welcome back. Do you know, someone told me that the newest laptop from uh, Asus with the power of 11th gen in in some newly graphic Intel Iris can handle a games. You know what, this is a shared graphic card and then can handle the games. Oh, by the way, later on we can we can see that if your games are gonna work on this kind of laptop. So for the meantime, uh, let's see what's inside of this laptop. Um, this one is Asus ZenBook 13. Yeah, the tiniest laptop, 13 inch with full I/O support. Before that, let's go on to the box. Later on, I'm going to tell you how much it, how much it is. Here's the box, the plastic, also is the charger. This charger is amazing. It's USB Type-C, it has 65 watts. No. No, it's, it's, it's going to reflect, don't worry. 65 watts, and it has USB Type-C to 3.5 mm jack. It means this laptop don't have any OG jack board. And for the LAN port, LAN port, this is LAN port with the USB 3.0 LAN port, right, better. And it has a manual, and also the box, inside the box, it has a sleeve, I can, I can pull it off, oh by the way the box is broken, sleeves, pretty plumbing when you buy the Asus Zenbook. Okay, let's walk through on the laptop body. This laptop is a ZenBook 13. It's made from aluminum, metal, aluminum. Don't worry, this all this bodies won't ra getting rusty because it's made from aluminum. Also from the bottom, it's an aluminum body, and at best at the back, it's made from aluminum, Zen style. And here on the front panel, this one is made from plastic. Also, the LCD is 13.9, uh, sorry, 13 point, 13 inch to be exact. 1080p full HD with the camera, HD camera can um, detect face lag in with 3D infrared, whatever. On here on the side it has HDMI cable also the two USB type C charger port charging port yeah you can charge your laptop here using the charger and then you can put also the USB also the um, audio jack here you can call it Thunderbolt anyway it's up to you um, this one is USB 3.0 and then the micro SD card, the light indicator. Okay, on the top of the keyboard. On the keyboard, it's um, very sleek and then the look premium key design and chiclet, chiclet, chiclet. It's kind of a very amazing kind of keyboard. When you press it, it becomes responsive. Also, the... Um, Audio volume, bright up, brightness, the common function, also the per camera and the lap, the keyboard light. Yeah, it's as a backlight underneath. Yes. And this one is amazing. It has a trackpad that can convert into a NAM key. Yeah. NAM key. You can you can lit the light and then press the number. Yeah. And you can turn it to the calculator and it has um calibration for the light yeah. I don't know how it works but let's turn it off okay let's go inside this laptop let's see what kind of processor they talk we saying about the 11th gen Intel Core i5 okay 
This laptop is powered by 11th generation Intel Core i5 1135G7. I don't know what the meaning of G for the 7. This one is 2.4 GHz, the baseline. And then I don't know how much the maximum. You can Google it by yourself, Dibe. Anyway. And it has a built in 8 GB RAM with the maximum frequency. 4267 megahertz. Okay, this is unusual frequency for the laptop because currently our default is 3200 megahertz, but now it has a uh, overclocking 4600, uh, 4267, and it has um 512 Intel NVMe SSD. Yeah, it's almost 35 times faster than regular hard drive. This is what I am talking about, Intel Iris Xe, and it has a memory shared up to 4 gigabyte, almost around up 3.9 gigabyte, and it can handle a games. They said this laptop can handle games. At first, I'm not, I'm not going to believe, but on my test run here, I'm using a benchmark. This one. I have a benchmark here and as you can see I'm going to switch the quality and to high not ultra just high high resolution and full screen and 1080p full HD where's the 1080p 1080 yeah this one 1920 by 1080p okay let's run the heaven engine so let's find out how many frames per seconds it's going to be by wait by the way while the graphics still rendering okay now it's it's here have you hear the sound just close your eyes feel the sound okay it has an harman kardon speaker with a sound surround built in and this one is kind of um, benchmarking for the games it is a good graphic as you can see the quality um, not bad for the Intel Irish graphic card with the 1080p resolution with the high quality setting and it it goes up up to 27 to 30 FPS per seconds not bad if you're going to play a full HD but if you're going to change the setting if you want to play smooth okay let's quit and change the setting for the meantime now i'm starting believing that intel processor with built-in graphic cards now starting going to to hit the market for the basic gaming i'm going to switch to the high again and 720p okay the hd resolution and then i'm going to open the task manager for the performance i'm going to have a look with the graphic card let's see how much the process for the graphic card is going to take in okay run okay no loading okay this setting is about 720p hd with the higher resolution high quality setting and it hits almost 40 yeah have you seen it 40 because the number is very fast switching that can, oh, almost 50 almost it's hitting about 60 it means when you set this laptop into full HD, um, HD sorry, um, 720p HD with a high setting with a good quality, you can stay playing with your games. Yeah, now I'm starting believing that this laptop can handle the games. But let me remind you that this laptop is not dedicated for the graphic card and for the gaming. Sorry, for the gaming because. It doesn't mean that it has a graphic good graphic card that it, it, you 
you can play me all the time um, because your motherboard will going to cry when you're going to play always just use some recommended gaming laptop to play all day not this one but uh, if you're going to out of the country and do some video editing or some a little bit playing games to, to kill time yeah maybe that is kind of laptop because it's because oh wait just hold on okay guys by the way um i'm going to rebuild the exact model and the price um, this laptop is asus zenbook ux 325ea eg022s and it has, it has the specs like what i told before and, and it has a 13.3 inch the price is 54,900 95 oh guys i'm tired <laughs> don't worry don't worry um please watch my next video because i'm going to unbox this kind of second screen if you want to have a second screen on your laptop or even of your desktop or mobile screen if you have if you want to make a second screen on your zen book like this one then you can purchase then on the very next video i can give you this kind of zen book screen so that you can have a uh, bright idea of how can you can this all right guys please keep in touch and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel we are here and later on we are just going to have uh, another review for the gaming so see you shout out for all our subscriber please so <laughs> So uh, our commentator that uh, this point. Okay, guys. Sign up.